addition of Simply Real Health in the kitchen. Today is all about spaghetti squash. So many of you I know don't have a clue about what this is, um, but it's one of the best, healthiest foods you can eat this time of year. It's kind of a very hearty, warm meal, um, and it's great for people that are transitioning into healthy eating. So either if you're a picky eater yourself or you have kids or other people in your family that are, the way that this cooks, um, when, when you scoop it out of the shell, it actually looks just like spaghetti. So it's kind of the same consistency and a lot of times it's much more enjoyable for people to eat. It's a vegetable, but with that same consistency of spaghetti and pasta, it's a lot easier to convince them to even try it. Um, this is great. I, my favorite way to do this is just roasted with some sea salt and pepper and you'll, you'll see how we do that today. Um, but it has so many other ways that you can prepare it. And any way that you would like cook pasta or prepare pasta, this can be used in the same way. It's not made with any wheat, it's all vegetables, so it's a much healthier option. You can do it with pesto on the top, you can do some roasted veggies, you can make a homemade sauce, um, you could do a tomato sauce, whether it's like canned and clean or something that you make yourself, um, or again, just sea salt and pepper. And it's also a pretty good snack straight out of the fridge and when it's cold, which is my favorite type of cooking. So we'll get started and I'll show you just how easy it is. So let's talk about what you need to make this recipe. You're going to need one spaghetti squash or two or three if you want to use your oven well. Um, you're going to need a pretty heavy duty knife here. So it's pretty similar to cutting a pumpkin. They're all, it's all in the same family. All squashes are the same way. It's a little bit hard to cut, but I'll show you a technique that makes it easier. You're going to need one baking sheet, some olive oil, some sea salt, some pepper, and then a, sc a spoon to kind of scoop out the seeds and the membrane in the middle. So we'll get started. The first step here is you actually want to cut down. You're going to cut the bottom off and you're going to cut the top off. Okay, so doing that just enables us to stand it up on the cutting board so it's a much more stable. And anytime that you're cutting something that has this thicker skin, you want to make sure it's stable so it doesn't slip out under you. So we're just going to take our knife and we're going to make a cut. And sometimes you have to kind of focus on cutting one side down first so you can get the knife in the other way. Okay. There we go. We've got our two spaghetti squash halves. This is what it looks like on the inside. I know it looks nothing like spaghetti, but it will. Stay tuned. Um, so all I'm going to do is kind of take my spoon and start scooping. And I have pulled the garbage can over here so it just makes it really easy to discard. And... Another little tip is that these seeds right here it look just like pumpkin seeds and they taste the same. So if you want to save them and make some toasted pumpkin seeds, it's really easy to do. Um, but if you don't have time, that's okay. You can always just throw it in the garbage or compost it. So we will scoop these out. Okay, I just finished scooping um, out both of these halves here. And when you scoop it out, you're going to get the pumpkin seeds out, but then there's also like some sort of slimy membrane. You want to scoop that out too, so you are left with just kind of halves like this that are empty, but nothing's like really slimy in there. That's gross. You don't want to touch that anyways. So the next step of what we're going to do, because we've preheated our oven at 400 degrees, and that's the way you're going to roast most things. So I just pour a little bit of olive oil on the inside here, and we're going to do a little sea salt. A little pepper in here. And we can always put more on at the end. Um, and then we're going to just rub the insides here to make sure that it all has a little bit of um, olive oil in here. You can also use coconut oil and you can also use butter. Um, but I think olive oil is a little bit easier to pour in this kind of sense. So we just kind of rub the outside. So everything's coated, and we're going to place them face down on the baking sheet. And what this does is when you put them into roast, it actually lets the steam kind of capture under the inside of a little cave and cooks it a little bit faster. So it's, this is a relatively fast cooking squash, um, which makes it awesome. So we're going to stick these in the oven. It'll be probably about 20 minutes or so, um, but you just want to keep checking. And the way that you check is just sticking, just prick it with a fork. And as soon as it gets kind of soft on the top to touch, that's when it's ready and take it out. Okay, so I set the timer for 30 minutes and I just pulled these little guys out of the oven. So we're going to turn them over. And you want to be careful with your fingers 
Mine are fine because I've been doing this for a long time. But we're going to turn it over. I let the steam escape. You can see there's a little bit of brown on the edges here. And all we're going to do, and this is the fun part, the crazy spaghetti part, is just start scooping from the inside here. And it's important that you don't overcook the squash because then it just gets kind of mushy. And a better tool to use would be a fork, if I had one here. So we're just going to scoop it in. And you can serve it in the shells if you'd like, but I like to put it in a bowl and kind of toss it with some, some more olive oil, some sea salt and some pepper, um, or a different kind of sauce if you want. So you can see here, this is just turning into like little spaghetti noodles. It's just crazy how it works. So I'm going to keep, keep scooping away. And magically dinner appears. Don't you love that? If you like this recipe and want to see more details, tips, or other healthy recipes and ideas, please feel free to check out my blog at simplyrealhealthblog.com or my website at simplyrealhealth.com. Again, this is Sarah Adler. We'll see you guys next time.